Hello and welcome to another computer craft tutorial. This is the same tutorial as I have done before, but it's updated for 1.7.10. The previous version, one in 164, it isn't working any longer, so uh, I had to rewrite just a little a little part of the code that um, if you've used it before, it, is this, it has the same features as before. It is only a code update. You still require Computercraft, Open Peripheral, and Railcraft, of course. Make sure to check the video description for the latest code link. And the paste bin code I will use in this video might change in case I find a bug or uh, or if anything happens with the mods. So always check the description for additional information and a link to the latest paste bin that you should use. Okay, let's get started. The tanks should be designed something like this. I have placed a valve on the top, I will just in input here, and this will be the reed valve. So, uh, and I should mention that at this point, at the time of recording, there is a bug with railcraft, so if you place another valve down here in the center, there uh, the readout from this valve will be really strange and uh, the values will be well they won't be correct so what you have to do in case you wanna yeah get your liquids out is to place another valve on the on the side that should be should be the same so let me just prepare this yeah and this one is prepared and I can have nothing here just to demonstrate that it's the same up here we have valves and valves, and I can prepare them, the last and final piece, with tanks. I will use creative tanks because they are very convenient, like that. So let's begin with placing the computer. We place the wireless modem on the bottom. I will do the same on this one. We place standard monitors on top and a redstone lamp on the side. You can do this for quite many actually. And we place, I can place the main computer later. Well, start with this because it's possible to run this entirely standalone. You don't need the main computer for this, not at all. And now when we are ready, finished with the building, let's get into code. So what we'll use is a pastebin link. It's again, check the description for latest link. So that's the, the tank. And we will also edit startup. This is important because just write this. Yeah. It's important that the tank computer sleep for two seconds before the tank program runs when this is on world load. And the main computer that I will place over here, it will not sleep. So the main computer is ready before the tank computer sets, sends its values. Now quickly check the tank. In this water tank, I will this first tank, I won't change anything, but in the all the others, this is the number you want to change. You can also change the warning level at what point we should warn 20%, 80%. That's uh, the only two you should care about. So No liquid in tank, it says. Now it's just running. Running, running, running. And if I get a wrench and simply hit the here to get started, we should see water coming in. 
great. And automatically it starts run. Here we can see the values that are sent, 12%, 40% are sent to the main computer, but we don't have any yet, so uh, yeah, quite useless. And while that runs, I will quickly do the same here. Also call that one tank, it doesn't matter, you can, you can name it as you wish, as long as in the startup you have the same easy and now since this is the second computer or the second uh, slave computer we change the frequency to 3 and the warning can be 50 because it doesn't matter this send frequency is it's very important this is the frequency the main computer will receive at and it's also the order that the main computer will order the uh, the liquids from different computers. So okay, that seems to be working fine. I haven't opened that up there yet. So let's build the main computer. Advanced monitors is a requirement. Okay, let's get the main program. like that, call it main and edit startup again just a shell dot run main no sleep here and reboot just to check oh I'm sorry forgot to make it possible to receive the wireless modem place on the back and on these two place on the bottom at the bottom. That's why I got that error. Let's reboot once again and check. So now it works. So liquid status, nothing. You could suspect this one to send 100 but it doesn't. When it reaches 100 it won't send anything else. Um, but if we reboot the computer, sleep for two seconds, then it will send 100% and it should show up here. Perfect. And let's start this one. Remember we changed that to frequency 3. This one receives at frequency 3 and also prints it on line 3. So you can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. liquids and, uh, on this first, or five liquids on the first, I think. Or is it four? Doesn't matter. After that you'll need to expand the monitor to look like this. But we need to reboot everything to get the status and uh, everything. And we can also reset this tank. And that's how easy it is to get the monitor working. And you can see that there was a delay there, that's because if you wait for more than, if you reach 50% or well above the, the, uh, the warning level, it will sleep for a longer time between each check. So that's why it took longer. So that's basically it. Pastebin codes are in the video description. Check there. Uh, also check there for additional information. You should always do that. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me and I will do my best to help. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.